VIP bottles all on my table My niggas with me, we sipping up I got bad chicks and they able These fools ain't how to cool as us And this dying's all Hey YouTube, my name's Ezra 18 Thank you for checking out this video Now today what I want to do is I want to share with you guys Something that me and all my friends have been playing for Since we were teenagers So Obviously when you play Call of Duty You've got players that like to play competitively Serious and sometimes you just like to catch up with some mates And you just muck around Or you make a drinking game out of it And that's what this is This is pretty much one of our best drinking games that we've ever made up That I want to share the rules with you guys So you guys can try them if you choose to Now guys if you do like this drinking game Or you want to give it a shot Or you just generally like the video Make sure you give the video a thumbs up As it really does help my channel grow Now this in particular drinking game is purely designed for search and destroy on Call of Duty. It can have some slight adjustments on the rules to be better suited to domination or team deathmatch, but it seems to work best with search and destroy because that's where you're probably going to get the most drunk. The game probably works its best as well with two people, but if you don't want to get absolutely hammered really quickly, you can have a whole six man team for this to work. It works perfectly fine. So, the game is simply called the Shots Game. Uh, that's just what we've always called it. You can call it whatever you want, but it's just always that's what we've called it as a shots game. So what we do is you'd start off with a normal shot class. You're probably not going to want to drink this alcohol straight. I would very highly suggest getting pre-mixed drinks because you are going to be drinking quite fast. We would usually play it with something on the lines of like a Jack Daniels and Coke, Jim Beam and Coke, uh, Smirnoff Double Black Ice. It doesn't really work with like beer because you do you do engulf it like it is a shot. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through with all the reasons you have to take a shot or how you can get your other teammates to take shots. So quite simply, if you die first in your party, that's a shot. If you're, if you're a rusher and you're gonna die first, you're gonna be taking a shot for it. If you lose the round of search and destroy, everyone has to have a shot. If, if you lose one round, everyone's taking a shot. If you lose the game, you actually have to take two shots because you would have lost the round to lose the game and you would have lost the game itself. So it's two shots if you lose the game of Search and Destroy. If I was playing and I got over 10 kills, everyone else has to have a shot. If I played through an entire game that we win and I only die once, Everyone else has to have a shot. So if you're a really good player, you can get all your mates drunk quite easily. If you finish outside of the top five in the total lobby score, you have to have a drink. If you're equal with top five, you guys need to decide yourselves who takes that shot. So they're pretty much basically the rules, guys. Honestly, I have had some of the best memories playing this game with Call of Duty. You gotta remember when you're playing this game to chill out. It's the time where you play with your boys or whoever you play with and you're just playing some public lobbies, having some fun. It's designed to be chilled out, laid back and an absolute laugh. Um, you can try to work together to get one in particular person drunk because that is quite funny. And you guys would have seen me, I actually played this game on my live stream the other night with myself and a mate and I I got, I got in some pretty bad shape quickly because there was only two of us. The less people there are, the more you will drink yourself. And I do suggest doing this with Search and Destroy because with Search and Destroy, someone's going to usually be having a drink at the end of every single round. If you're playing with Domination and Team Deathmatch, you're only going to be having one, two, three drinks every sort of five minutes for the whole game. With Search and Destroy, you can have them real quickly, so you can have lots of drinks and you can have lots of laughs with all your friends. So, guys, that's pretty much my shots game. I just thought I wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, the footage in the background is just a game where I go about 58 for 25, give or take. So I'm going to let that keep playing in the background if you guys wanted to watch that. But guys, if you do like the shots game or you reckon you might even give the shots game a try give the video a thumbs up it really does help my channel grow guys so and i'd love to hear some stories of what you guys do with the shots game or even if you interpretate the rules a little bit differently and you change it from how you want to play but guys i am as 18 thank you very much for watching see you next time oh. i better go join fury's party and see what they're on about this guy wanted to join this one Hey, do it. Oh, I'm missing a 
objectives met. Prep for evac. That sensation, impending extinction.